Good evening everyone. Today I am going to show you how to slice an image in half. Um, I've done a similar tutorial like this in the past where I slice a letter to create some kind of monogram or something similar, but I did have a request on how to slice an image to um, put a name or other text into the middle of the image. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. First you're going to go over here and you can either select images or upload an image. I'm going to go with an image that I already have um, uploaded into my computer. And if you don't know how to do this, I do have a tutorial on it. If you wanted to go check that out, you're welcome to do that. Um, if you do already know how, just follow along with me here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I found this princess silhouette and I thought it would be a great tutorial, or a great image to use for the tutorial. So next you're going to go to the left hand side and click shapes and click your square. And you're going to need to unlock this square image um, just because if you don't, you're not going to be able to make the square into a rectangle and the exact shape you want it in. It's just going to, you're just going to be able to make it smaller or bigger with the dimensions that it already has preset it on there. So down here in this left hand corner of the square, you're going to click unlock and now you can move it as you would like. So you're going to place this rectangle image or shape into um, the dress or the area of the image wherever you want it. Now you can use any image with this. Um, a silhouette works great in my opinion. Otherwise any type of um, image with layers will also work. Um, and you can make it as big or as little as you want, depending on how big you want your text. I think I'm going to go with about that size. And I'm going to go up here on my left side of my screen and click Select All. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom right and click Slice. And that just sliced um, all of my layers here. It's going to kind of cut out in different sections. So I have a piece here, a piece here, and one more piece right in the middle. And you can go ahead and get rid of all of that. Um, next you can open your shapes again and click your square and go ahead and unlock it just like you did before. And I like to add a top line right here just because I think it looks cool. Now you don't have to do this, but I just think it adds a little bit of character to it. And I'm going to change that to black so it matches the princess. And click duplicate, and I'm going to add it right on the bottom too. And I'm just going to make it go out a little bit. Like the, um, like the top one does match it up the best you can. You know, this is a homemade project, so it's never going to be perfect, but there we go. I think it looks pretty cool. And click your text. Type in your name. I'm going to type in Amanda. And choose your font. And I think I click up maybe not a thin one, but a more cursive -y, maybe something like this would look kind of neat with a princess background to it. Yeah, that looks cool. And go ahead and unlock this and you can change the size to make it fit perfectly in here. And there you have it. And this would look super cute on a shirt, you know, or a cloth bag or something so you can personalize it a little bit. Um, I've seen people write like, um, here, let me, like Amanda's first and create birthday shirts, first birthday shirts, which are super cute. I'm going to have to change this. Yeah, let me go ahead and change this. Okay. Um, let's take out the first birthday. We're going to add it separately so we can get the two fonts closer together. So I'm going to, oh, that's still unlocked. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. Amanda's. And then I'm going to add another line. Actually, what works out best is just to duplicate that 
if you want to add a second line, oops, just because then you can make sure you have the same font. You don't have to worry about, you know, doubling the font or anything. I don't know why that doesn't want to add the S. It's kind of strange. Let's see if this works for me. Design Space has been acting kind of funny today. I'm not sure why. It wanted me to download some sort of plugin before. Anyways, now it is not going to work. <laughs> Go figure. All right, but you get the idea. You can add in different things in here. Um, it would look super cute with a on a birthday shirt or something of that sort. Um, now it's not going to erase the apostrophe. Oh, goofy. I don't know. I've called Cricut when this stuff happens, and it just they just say it's a glitch and it takes time to fix, but. Yeah, you get the idea. So you can also change this, um, of course, to black font, or you can cut it as a double layer. It's up to you. Um, make sure if you do attach it all together, select all and attach, and that will attach everything so you can move it around. And there you have it. Any questions, please let me know, as always. Hope everyone has a great Monday night, and enjoy the beautiful week.